this is the best part of the whole shop. So excited about this. Not perfect, but I know enough to never lose doubt. Cause we're all just human. It's really that simple. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chloe and I'm a model and I'm a nutrition coach in London. And I'm also starting my personal training course next week. So I'm a soon to be personal trainer. And today I'm gonna to show you what I eat in a day. So as some of you know, or maybe you don't know and you've just clicked on this video randomly and you know absolutely nothing about me, I am lean bulking, I'm trying to gain muscle, I'm trying to tone up. So those are my goals. And I'm gonna put on the screen, if you don't know me, then this is my progress so far. I have a video all about how I did this and my fitness journey so far and what I was like, so I was thinner than that, before, way thinner than that before. I'm in the modeling industry and I had a lot of pressure about staying slim. I was told I was fat, so that's all another story, but the links for those videos are down below. You just click the down arrow in the description and they are all there. So I just want to make this clear that every single day for me is different. I rarely eat the same foods every day. So I'm going to try and do lots more of these videos for you, especially when I start my personal training course because I'm not going to be at home. Today is a chill day. I'm staying at home while I'm going to the gym and food shopping. So you guys are going to get to see what I buy on a food shop as well and some recommendations if you're trying to gain weight or lose weight. Also, I am following macronutrients, macro dieting, whatever you want to call it, flexible dieting. So flexible dieting is when you can sort of eat what you want, but I'm trying to eat nutrient dense foods, um, but you follow macros. Macronutrients, I am doing a video on what they are and how to use them to reach your goals. So how to use them to lose weight and how to lose them to gain muscle. And that'll be out next week. So my macros at the moment are, I mean, 170 to 190 carbs, 50 to 70 fats, and 130 to 160 protein. That, that's quite a big range of macros, but the reason I give myself a range is because it depends what exercise I'm doing. On days when I'm lifting really heavy, then I'm obviously gonna be wanting to have more carbs and more proteins. Um, on rest days, I have less carbs. And on cardio days, I have less carbs as well. It varies day to day, but my calorie range is like 1,950 to just over 2,000. I'm not obsessive about it because I think that's unhealthy, uh, but that's all in my video next week. So next week's video about macronutrients covers why they're good and how to do them properly and how to have a re healthy relationship with it. Today I will be using my fitness pal on my phone to track my macros. So I'm also gonna be doing a video soon, which will be in two weeks, on how to use my fitness pal to track your macros and some little tips and tricks as well for making it easier for yourself, basically. Let's get this video started and here is my breakfast. So, overnight, I keep in the fridge a glass of water. So, the first thing I drink is a nice big glass of water. And I don't know if you can hear in the background, but I'm also boiling kettle. So, whilst I'm making my breakfast, I drink this. And I also sip on a black coffee. Okay, so I've got 30 grams of bran flakes. I have that with just almond milk. I normally get unsweetened, but the supermarket didn't have it and I needed almond milk. So I'd recommend not getting this, getting the unsweetened ones, my carbohydrates. And this is basically two egg whites, half a scoop of vanilla whey protein by The Protein Works, grated zucchini and baking powder. So there's no carbs in this, it's just whey protein and two egg whites. And then on top, I've got half a piece of 90% dark chocolate and some zero butterscotch syrup. So this is hot. I just really like something hot in the morning. Sometimes put oats in there, like proper zotes or proats, whatever, like protein porridge, protein oats, zucchini. Um, this is really good if you're on a diet actually and you want like a low carb, I don't know, something warm because this is just egg whites and protein and baking powder. That's why it's so, it's rised up because I've put baking powder in it. And then I have some fruit with some low calorie jelly, which I make myself. I never buy the pots because they are so expensive. So I just make the jelly myself. And that is total Greek yogurt with some uh, Protein Works Zero Blueberry Syrup. This is the blueberry syrup. And then this, which has just run out, but it's okay because I've got a new delivery coming, is the butterscotch one, which I used on the Zote type thing. The chocolate that I use, 90%. Dark chocolate. The yogurt I used was 
that one down there in the drawer. It looks like quite a big breakfast, but I am trying to gain and I am always starving in the morning, so I like to enjoy my food and I'm gonna go and eat this in my bedroom because we don't have a kitchen table. This is our little kitchen. My canvas is it. <laughs> it so i'm gonna go enjoy this and watch a youtube video so this is who i've decided to watch lex fitness yeah he is a guy and a lot of his videos are men i suppose focused but i find them really useful because he's obviously talks a lot about like muscle gaining and what to eat like i like these q a's and stuff like that so i'm actually watching a q a which is on diet training cardio and muscle um, so I'm going to watch that whilst I eat my breakfast. Okay, so I literally just got home, but I wanted to show you. I did, like, show you my Snapchat thing, but I've just done spim. And I've just had a chocolate mint brownie protein shake. Sorry, it's really hot in here. <laughs> so this is whey uh, protein, and that's so attractive. That's the protein work, so I will leave a link in the description where you can get free protein. I should sort my hair out, it's a bit crazy. Um, you can get free protein with that link and that code. It's like half two now, so I'm gonna film a YouTube video because like, you can't really see, but it looks nice. It's really not. It's like gray and disgusting weather. So I wanna get this natural light and shoot a YouTube video for you guys, which will be out next week, because this time next week, I start my personal training course so I'm really excited but it does mean that I'm gonna have less time to film and edit so I'm gonna quickly film that now and then I'm gonna have a snack because I'm already a little bit hungry but I will see you in a bit bye I'm really hungry because I haven't eaten I've literally been so busy so I'm gonna have a snack and then I need to go and pick up a delivery it's the protein works and I'm getting some more shakes so it's 15 grams of peanut butter I'm gonna have with these carrot sticks yeah um and i'm just gonna check my phone because i've got a million messages and my emails eat this and then i'm gonna go and pick up my delivery okay so i just got home i got my protein works delivery and i had to throw the box away because i actually went to sainsbury's sorry i'm really hot i went to sainsbury's and ended up doing a massive food shop because i don't actually get many days like this this is a really quiet day for me and i found some really good stuff so I thought I would actually show you what I got. So I'm also starving because the last time I ate was that snack. So I'm gonna quickly show you what I got and also get some food. Okay, so this is my vanilla protein that I got from the Protein Works. If you remember this morning I said about my butterscotch syrup running out. Well, I have a brand new bottle. So there's my little protein works delivery that I picked up. Remember I said my peanut butter had run out? Well, I got some more peanut butter. Meridian, of course. I got reduced sugar strawberry jam. I have never had this before, but it's not bad macros. Like per tablespoon, there's only nine grams of carbs and 42 calories. So it has got sweetness in it. So it is not great for you, but the thing is, I won't have it every day, so I'd have a tiny bit. I don't think I'd even have a tablespoon. I'd have like a dessert spoon. I've been dying to get this. It's the sucrine coconut flour. And the reason I got that is for my little waffle maker over there. So I've been wanting to get this for ages. Seasoning. This is just for like my salads and stuff. I love barbecue one on my salads. More olive oil spray oil just because I'd run out. So I just use that on my pans and stuff. Some cottage cheese. This is just... The onion and chive one. 16 grams of protein per half pot as well. I'm loving mackerel at the moment and this was one pound. And 13 grams of protein, virtually no carbs. It's 11 grams of fat, but of course guys, this is good fat because it's mackerel. And I got some more tuna, which is just in spring water and that was like 60p. I also don't know for me, but I'm loving sardines at the moment. So these are done in olive oil per can. 14 grams of protein. I actually love these and they're so cheap. They're like just over a pound. Got a lettuce. I got these puffed wheat cereal, but look at these macros. There is like no sugar in here. Normal cereals have so much sugar in them. So there's less than half a gram of sugar, 113 calories, and that's per 30 grams without milk. And the thing with these is because 30 grams is actually 
quite a lot because these are so light and these were really cheap because they're by Sainsbury's and if you don't like these because like, they're not sweet enough you can just add stevia like a natural sweetener um, or banana on top or something like that some tomatoes and some salmon so this was like two pounds for a tin of salmon but it's really cheap and i'm just thinking of the next few weeks i'm going to be so busy with my personal training course so i'm trying to get as much food in the house and all of this stuff like doesn't go off and uh, these tins so i can just keep it in the cupboard this is the jelly that i mentioned this morning that i had so i buy these sachets because they're only 70p when you buy the pots it's so expensive so i really recommend these some peaches so these were reduced pound 70 and they were three pounds before wafer thin like sandwich chicken um just for like lunch and snacks this is the best part of the whole shop so excited about this guys so when you buy like low carb bread normally like from muscle foods and stuff it's really expensive this was one pound 50 and it has six gram no five grams that's all per slice of carbs a normal piece of bread has a lot of carbs now carbs are not bad guys but it's just i like to kind of distribute mine through the day so this is perfect for me and it has got eight grams of protein per slice okay so it's called i think it's called high low so i'll show you guys that's the bread guys seriously 65% less uh, carbs than white bread high in fiber 100% free from artificial preservatives almost 50% of your daily protein in just three slices yeah sorry I'm a bit excited about this I have this with my cottage cheese and or with my new jam or my peanut butter yeah, you can tell I'm really excited about this bread. I got this, it was on offer. It was one pound and it's sun-dried tomato steam basmati rice because I'm gonna have that tonight. I did actually get earlier some more eggs, 12 medium eggs. This is the one I'd recommend. It's only 13 calories per serving and it's like no fat. There's not much protein in it though. Cow's milk has a lot more protein in, but I just like it because it's lower in calories so I can use more of it. From much fray, which is basically the same macros as total, but it's half the price. Okay, it's not going to focus, but just trust me guys, it is high in protein. It's like eight grams per serving. So don't judge, but I like tomato ketchup on my salad. So I've got the Heinz reduced sugar one, which is this one. It's less sugar and less salt. And some cherry tomatoes, and that's 80 grams of chicken. I've sprinkled on top, you can't really see, but that barbecue spice that I just bought. So I've sprinkled some of that on, which is really nice. And I got a glass of water and a, some decaf instant coffee. Balsamic vinegar as well, which is like under there. I forgot to mention earlier that I'm having a glass of water, but I've also drank two 500 milliliter bottles and I've had my protein shake and I had a glass of water this morning. So I've had about two liters so far, but I'm gonna have this now as well with this. And then afterwards, I'm gonna try some of that new bread that we just bought. now. It did look quite small when I took it out, but it is so thick. Like, that's the size of my finger. So I'm really impressed because normally with like low calorie or whatever low bread, it's really not thick. But this has got loads of seeds on it and it smells amazing. So here it is, guys, toasted. And I've got the strawberry jam, the reduced one that I bought earlier, some Greek yogurt, some blueberry syrup. I'll let you not guys know how it is later, but I'm going to do some work now for a few hours and then it will be dinner time that was so good like definitely go and buy that bread and that jam on top just like as a dessert it's so good and i bet it's really good with peanut butter i think tomorrow i'm going to try it with peanut butter and maybe melt some dark chocolate on top okay so what i'm going to do is have half of this packet which is as you see i've just cooked it but it's the one i bought today is sun-dried basmati rice and then I'm going to like make it a bit more volumised by mixing it with some cauliflower rice, which I got on offer. It was like 40p for the whole bag, and this is half, it's like 20p. In here I have got some broccoli and carrot steaming, and then I'll mix that all with a tin of tuna, which I got today, some tinned tomatoes, not the whole thing, probably like a quarter, and then some onion and some fish seasoning. And then I will put it all in there and then bake it, put some olive oil on top 
just to make it a bit crispy. Half of it tonight and the other half for lunch tomorrow. So I'll show you it when it's come out. And also this is the time when I meal prep for tomorrow. And here, um, which is all ready for tomorrow. Um, so that's a good idea to do your meal prep for the next day whilst you're cooking dinner. And so it's just come out of the oven as you can hear it's sizzling. So I am going to portion that out onto my plate over here. I'm going to put the other half in the Tupperware box for tomorrow. So it doesn't look great on camera, but yeah, that's the rice, sun-dried tomato rice mixed with cauliflower rice, tuna, um, tinned tomatoes and some veg in there. So if we have like half of that. It's also quite nice with cheese on top, but I didn't really fancy cheese tonight. Um, and you don't have to use tuna, you can put salmon in there, you could put chicken in there. You could use any sort of rice. So here it is guys, portioned out 80 in my room on my desk. And also I wanted to mention my glass of water. So I have another glass of water with dinner as well. So to show you guys, that bread that I had earlier, two slices is 16 grams of protein, only 10 gram carb and five fat. Like how amazing is that? So if you need more protein, definitely get it, that bread, that high low bread. I did look it up and this is the brand here and it's in Sainsbury's. Okay, so it's a few hours later. Well, I think it's about an hour later, but this is kind of like a little dessert. So I've got some chopped apple with cinnamon, some blueberries, some of those plums that I had at breakfast, and the peaches that I bought in Sainsbury's that were discounted, and some total Greek yogurt, and about 150 grams. So I'm gonna have this and probably watch some YouTube videos, some good ones though, motivational kind of mood. I'm also having a green tea and I've got another glass of water. So this is like, I think I've drunk like over three litres now today uh, with some ice cubes in and a straw. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have this now. It's near like another hour later. So this is like what I had at breakfast. Um, this is the two egg whites. This time I've got some chocolate protein powder and baking powder. Oh, and zucchini in there to like volumize it. Um, some lint chocolate, which I'm gonna crumble on top and melt into. Oh, and I put some frozen berries in there, I forgot about that. It's so, so nice, and it's hot, really, really hot. If I'm low on carbs from the day, I'll definitely add oats to that, so it's like protein porridge. Yeah, so I hate going to bed hungry, I hate waking up in the night hungry, so I'm gonna have this, and then I'm gonna go to bed, and I will end the vlog in the morning. So it's the next day now, and I'm just recording an outro, and I wanna say thank you for watching, of course. If you've got any questions, email me. Next week I'm gonna be going through how to work out your macros for weight loss or gaining muscle, what they are, and how to use them, and some little tips and tricks for you as well. Just to, again, make that clear that these macros that I ate are personal to me. You should not use them and not use them for you because every single person is different and I will go through that next week. So if you use my macros, you will not get my results. I'm just putting that out there because I need to make that clear, a little disclaimer. I had 2,027 calories. My macros for the day, 218 grams of protein, 167 carbohydrate, 44 grams of fiber, which shows you that a lot of my carbs were coming from healthy, non-processed foods, like vegetables, um, which is included in my video next week about macronutrients. Fat, 46. And then if we look at my inner split, as, you, as I said that I like my protein, I told you that at the beginning, or I think I did, but yeah, I like my protein. You definitely don't need that much, and um, that is just what I like. My video next week, I'll be talking about why not to go with what my fitness pal tells you. This was for me quite, and I did say at the beginning that I have different foods every day, but this was quite a high protein day. I'm going to show you just what I have on other days. So we can see that was Saturday, that was Friday. So this day, for example, last Thursday was 187 protein. So a lot less. But this, as you can see, my split, this is generally my split. Again, this is personal to me. Oh, here's a good example I had a bit. This is 160 protein, a bit more fats this day, 70. So basically, I'm just trying to show you that I don't have exactly the same every day. What I do keep consistent is calories. So obviously your macronutrients are made up of calories. We can see here, as I said at the beginning, I'm 1900 to 2000. So here was 1932. 1908, 
that was the day I showed you 2027 which was a bit higher than normally but I just want to be real with you guys so yeah those were my macros for that day so I hope you enjoyed it guys I'm going to be doing more what I eat in a day videos especially when I start my personal training course because I'm going to be on the go so it'll be really good to show you how to like meal prep how to track your macros on the go and what to eat on the go without spending too much money. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. The button is up there and I, I really appreciate it. Like you have no idea just you clicking that button how much it means to me. So please do. All of my social media is down below as well. So if you ever wanna to chat to me, if you want any information on nutrition coaching, my email's down below. So I hope you have a great week and I will see you soon. Bye. to make chocolate muffins in a mug in less than two minutes.